Tony worked at a power plant called Birth. We're being called right through. This is the Steamship Energy Enterprise. Uh, we would like you to uh, get underway and get out of the area so that we can safely dock the vessel. Uh, Roger that, Captain. This is Jay of the Henry David T. Uh, it is our intention to remain moored here uh, to uh, ensure that this coal is not rotted and burnt here in New England. Over. Yeah, this coal is coming from the United States, uh, West Virginia. What's the problem with that? protecting the climate and maintaining cool yes i felt really clear that i needed to be there we're not on a linear change trajectory we are on an exponential change trajectory um and a friend of mine told a story last night uh that that really speaks to speaks to what happens with exponential change you know if you have if you have a, a pond that's got one lily in it like a flower and a lily pad and the the rate of increase doubles every day and the lily pond is full of lilies on the 30th day well what day was that pond only half full the day before you know exponential change we're not used to experiencing it we're not used to seeing it and we're not used to recognizing um, how dramatically things shift. There's no amount of speaking that I can do or words that I can say to convince someone. I'm totally convinced that what will motivate people is when we make concrete in our lives what that crisis looks like and start to live out that truth into the world. We have to be very clear about what our goals are and then our political machinery can come up with a, with a solution to get us to that goal. And now we know, the science is clear, we have to shut this stuff down as soon as possible. Like I said, I had bought a house and everything. Uh, going out on disability was kind of a blessing in disguise, you know, because uh, the coal dust affected my lungs, so I wasn't able to work there safely. So I don't know if you even want to keep this in, but um, in the documentary. But uh, no, it, it just like, like I said, you have so many people. I'm in my 50s. So like, you know, when, once we reach a certain age, like, where are we going to work? You know, welcome to Walmart. You, you know, you got guys that have been making good money. So many of my guys have over 25 years service, 30 years service there that aren't retirement age. You know, what, what are they gonna do? You know, like if they build a gas turbine, it's almost a uh, like seven to one ratio. Like, you know, you'll get one employee in a gas turbine for every seven in a, a coal or oil pl you know, plant that you're taking out of service. So, you know, they talk about these green jobs. I haven't seen any. You know, what are these green jobs? Hi, Sarah, this is Joel from Clean Water Action. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, I am well aware, and, and organizations like Clean Water Action is well aware, that there are serious impacts to power plant communities and the workforce there um, when we shift. Right now, a number of companies want to come in and build huge new uh, gas pipelines from fracked from the Marcellus Shale, so procured through horizontal drilling, you know, hydraulic fracturing, um, some pretty nasty extraction processes, but they actually can't make the numbers work for these projects because, uh, you know, the market isn't calling for them. Hydropower is not local. Coal and gas aren't local either. We have to be thinking about what we can do in-state, weatherization, solar, wind, and offshore wind, keep billions of dollars in our region, um, and about the development that that can bring to our, uh, our state. My being on the lobster boat was no less valuable than 
marvelous role, which was to be on the shore, talking to the press, talking to the neighbors that day, watching us from a distance. I was really proud to be um, sort of anchoring that support team. Uh, I'll get my turn. A lobster boat wasn't perhaps my most natural uh, action situation anyway. One of my projects at the Climate Disobedience Center is working with folks in West Roxbury, Massachusetts to oppose the construction of Spectra Energy's West Roxbury Lateral Pipeline. You've already won for today because you saw construction. People become the people who care about the things that we care about because we ask them to and we help them to understand why it matters to us. Facts don't change people, feelings change people. All right? And just because a fact makes you feel one way and motivates you, you can't assume it's going to motivate anybody else. So you have to tell your story about why it matters.